Yes, my name is Kasha Jatlin. I'm from Kampala, Uganda. Um, I'm here to talk to you, friends, about the Anti-Homosexuality Act that was recently signed by the President of Uganda. This act is basically broadened from the old penal code which talks about homosexual acts, but uh, this act is more about a promotion, anything to do with any, any news, any booklets, any text messages that have anything to do with um, LGBT issues. Is, uh, is now criminal. Even me speaking to you right now in front of this camera is a crime in, my, in the new law. So I could actually even be put in prison for promoting homosexuality. But it goes further to even um, um, criminalize aiding and abating. So anyone who rents any building, any houses, to any suspected or perceived LGBT people could also face, um, uh, could also face time in jail if they are not reported. landlords right now are evicting LGBT people. We've so far received three to five eviction letters of people perceived to be LGBT. Uh, we've seen a lot of beatings and harassments going on. We've so far recorded about 30 arrests where people actually knocked uh, in the middle of the night and uh, forced, forced to go for HIV AIDS, uh, mandatory testing and also unknown testing and also paraded in front of the media. We've seen the, uh, the media witch hunt right now uh, escalating where people perceived to be LGBT have been exposed, uh, their partners, their family. We've seen people losing their jobs because of this. We've seen people uh, getting disowned because they've been exposed in the newspapers. And recently there's a torture house that has formed in Uganda where they are torturing and raping and beating LGBT people. Uh, where even the police is not paying attention to it and ignoring, uh, ignoring um, even evidence on video where people have been tortured. So there's a lot of uh, suffering going on in the, in, in the community. We've recorded about 17 cases of uh, attempted suicide, and as I speak right now, one is in, um, critically ill in hospital. This is caused because of the depression and anxiety within the community. People are very stressed, not knowing um, what life holds for them the next day. So I'm here to call for your support. We really need a lot of support because uh, even in, on Monday this week, on the 31st, there was a, a rally organized by the Interreligious Council where the president was the chief guest and he continued to incite the public um, about, about fighting um, LGBT people. So we really need a lot of support because we need to bail people out. On Monday after the president opened, um, opened the rally, uh, two people were paraded in front of television uh, on national media and uh, being arrested for being uh, suspected of uh, being homosexuals. So we need a lot of financial support to help relocate people to safer places within the country. We need a lot of <coughs> support for legal redress because we really need to bail people out of, of jail. But we also need to help our, our friends who are living with HIV and AIDS to be able to continue with their ARPs, they need proper feeding and they need, of course, a healthy living. So I'm here to call for your support, friends and families and allies around the world, and especially in German, to, to call for your support in very many different ways. Uh, I'm making this video because um, I can't say everything uh, in, in just three minutes, but uh, also on, on the website you'll find there are lots of guidelines on how you can support us in different ways. So I'm counting on you. Thank you so much.